Hey, McCall's family, John Long again. Want to spend uh, a few minutes, hopefully five minutes or less, uh, just going over our behavior reports, our incident reports, and, and both of these reports and how they can be completed online via Quickmark. Uh, my disclaimer right at the front of this, uh, this piece is this may be less of a training uh, as it is a review. And, and quite honestly, it may be for my benefit more so than anybody on campus uh, because I get confused and sometimes I wonder what's the difference between the blue sheet, the yellow sheet, and, and, and how, do we, how, do we, how do we decide whether it's a behavior, how do we decide whether it's an incident? So it may help us to just run down through this uh, very quickly. On the screen, I've got uh, displayed the behavior report, the blue sheet. Um, you know, I, it's so important on both this document and the, and the yellow incident re uh, report that we'll look at in a second uh, to get the time. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to have the client's name, the reporting staff's name, but give us the time, give us the date. And this will become more important as we get more and more cameras in the homes because it'll be the only way we can go back and find uh, audio or video uh, of a behavior or an incident is if we have the date and time. So very important for you to add that. The next two boxes, uh, you know, I'll quickly just uh, share the opinion that I, I wish we would flip flop these. I wish we would uh, first list what is the behavior, what happened, what is it the resident was doing and then below that, take a look at what are the variables? What are the conditions surrounding that behavior that may have had something to do to trigger that behavior? Is, that, uh, is it where the resident was? Is it because something was going on? Was there overstimulation? Was it too noisy, too crowded, too loud? Uh, you know, what was it? And, and we can kind of begin to piece that information together to know what to do and what not to do uh, with, with all of our residents. The rest of this blue behavior report, um, you know, I'll just say it, it's a public service announcement. I know it probably should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, the summary of the incident, the more detailed, the more legible uh, you can be with this information, uh, so much the better. And certainly anything that you do uh, as staff to intervene and to fix or mitigate uh, the behavior, uh, that's certainly very helpful. Now we transition and look at the, the yellow sheet, uh, the incident report sheet. I'll tell you that of the blue sheet and the yellow sheet, in my opinion, the yellow sheet, the more serious of the two reports. This, this is, the yellow sheet I'll say is just kind of uh, preliminary to a possible state reportable. Uh, again, so important for us to have uh, the date and time. So we can go back and capture video, capture audio if we need it. On the incident report, I mean, obviously, you're going to look at what is the nature of the occurrence? What happened? Was, was it, you know, how did our resident get harmed? Well, you know, what, what happened? Was it, was it, for example, a bite? Uh, is, there, is there some trauma to the head? Is there, is there a fracture? Uh, no visible injury? What, what happened? And again, we want to capture the kind of the variables along with it to see if we can start to piece together what's going on and what might have caused or led to uh, this instant. Uh, and, and so, the, you know, do not just skip this, this part of the report because this is what we can compile and begin to make sense of. And, and let's say in a particular instance, maybe it's a bite that occurred. Then as you continue to click, complete this information, you'll, you'll go to this graphic and you'll just indicate where on the body that, that the bite occurred. And again, so important for us to get the detail of uh, the incident. And as we continue to use hard copy, and we're using it less and less, but we continue to use hard copy, um, you know, use something that we can read. Uh, be legible. Uh, use ink if you can. I mean, I, I'll tell you, I had pencil on a blue paper the other day, and my 54-year-old eyes could not read it. Uh, and so, you know, what good's the information? Appreciate you trying to share the information, but if I can't read it, we can't read it, then, then it's of no use to us. Uh, but, but again, be as complete and as thorough with all of this information as you, as you possibly can. The more information we have, uh, the better we can be re in responding. Uh, and then to all of that, um, you know, let me spend some time just sharing some screenshots from Quickmar. This is the front page of Quickmar. Here's the incidents tab right down here. Uh, we're getting so much better. We're getting so many more of our reports coming to us online. 
uh, through Quickmark. And when we do that, we've got more information. I'll show you why it's important here in a little bit um, or why it works better in, in a little bit. Um, but thank you to those of you who are using this and, and, and please uh, begin using it to those of you who are not. Here's, you, you know, to go to add an incident, here's the button. Uh, here are several incidents that have occurred uh, in the last week or so. I, I've blacked out the names so, so no, no inappropriate information will be shared, but that's what that page uh, would look like. Of course, as you scroll down through, it's just, it's kind of obvious. There are drop down windows. You just select what you need to, to select. A behavior type is going to be going to be required. Um, you know, select yourself. I, I, Lori, I apologize. I meant to select my name, but I selected your name here. Um, you know, what, what type of conduct is somebody hitting themselves? Is it violence towards self? You know, drop down windows that allow you to give us uh, the information with, with one click. Here's a, and I'll scroll past that because I don't want to, don't want to show the name. Um, but here's, here's why I think going online makes us better. Um, we have a we have a behavior report here, an incident report here, where now three people: uh, John Long from administration, Mickey Turner from nurses, Kathy from uh, from uh, uh, also an, an administrator, all have been able to respond and, and react to it, and ask questions, and and just acknowledge that we've seen it. Uh, and I think this is how we will get significantly better in responding to our behavior in our our incident reports. And then that's just the final of the screen. It's not a lengthy process at all to go and add uh, an incident uh, on quick march, just doing it and doing it again and doing it a few times to the point that you get comfortable. So again, thank you to those of you who are using it. Please begin to use it to those of you that aren't using it. In the meantime, <clears throat> if you if you have to continue to use hard copy paper, I ask you to just be sure you've got the right the right documents there. The behavior reports are blue sheets. The incident reports are yellow sheets. I saw earlier this week a behavior report which should have been blue on a yellow sheet and that just further convolutes and complicates things. So uh, if you don't have those hard copies in your office, uh, get with Jayla White, let us know and we'll be sure that we get fresh, clean, clear copies in your home. But always know that Quickmar is there uh, to be used as, as an, uh, a, a preferred way to enter our reports. Thanks everybody.